Say again. Your name's what? My name is Jonah Boyer. Jonah? Okay. And we just met Jonah. Hi. Uh, he happened to walk in on our rehearsal in uh, Carbondale, Colorado. Uh, we're getting ready for the House of Wills show tonight. And it seems like you're really enjoying the music. And yeah. You just sure. happened to walk into the room. Yep. From where? Where uh, did that walk start? I started in Delaware back in August. You going to hold the video? In, in August? August 31st is my first day. And uh, it was really hot outside. It and seems like your beard should be longer. So. Yeah, but I'm, really, that, I'm not long? that old. I'm only 19. Okay. So wow. I haven't had much time, really. Huh. What, 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 why did you decide to do this walk across the United States? Well. Sort of like the movie guy. Right. Of course, go. Yeah, right. yeah, I mean, the okay. Peace Pilgrim or a million other people. Uh, well, if you would have asked me in August when I started, I probably would have said one thing. I would have said that wisdom is more important than knowledge. And for me, that, that meant, like, I needed to go on the road and get first-hand experience of what life was like, kind of force myself to grow up a little bit. Um, to me, that was more valuable than going to college at the time, because that was my other option. Wow. And so you, then how do you support yourself as you walk? Taking donations, you saved up your money for this? Yeah, I mean, I saved up a pretty good uh, bit of my money from uh, delivering pizzas and doing different things. I mean, like I said, I was in high school. I was pretty limited on how I could make my money. Yeah. But uh, I did make my own website. I put a donations button on there. Initially, I had like zero expectations for that. Yeah. But then uh, I got some pro deals, so like 60% discounts on a bunch of like really nice gear. Then people started donating to the website. And then, what's your website? What it's dudetrek.com. There's my Dude blog. Trek. Yeah. Okay. So you 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 uh, you went on the road for eight months, approximately, right? Yeah, about eight and, and a half. And you're that, where are you gonna end up? Is it just like an open thing where you, you know, somewhere in the west you're gonna end? Or? Uh, I hope to finish in San Francisco. Nice. Yeah. Specifically, Point Reyes National Seashore. Nice. nice. I'll bet you have a lot of experiences already on the. Oh, it's right. Every single day. Yeah, this one, right? I mean, every day in the past nine months or whatever it has been, has been something new. So, you have a backpack. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And I got my guitar and my camera. Where did you wake up this morning? Uh, this morning. This morning I woke up uh, on the yeah, side yeah, of the yeah. mountain in um, so Glenwood good. Springs. I set up my tent last night. It was so, so beautiful. There were lots of mosquitoes out, which really sucked, mm -hmm. but the swallows love the mosquitoes. So they were literally like flying in about two or three feet away from me, just all around me. I got pictures of them really, really awesome. So are you orienting yourself? Do you have like a, a topical map or how, how are you doing that? Are you following roads or little as well? Or? Uh, before I started, I planned this whole thing out turn by turn from Delaware to California. Really? But then um, by the time I got to Ohio, I just, I, I learned that that was not the most fun way of doing it. Okay. It's a lot more enjoyable if you just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. So, back in Ohio, I just started walking down the railroad tracks. I knew they headed west, I had no idea where they went, but I just followed them. And that spit me out in Cincinnati, where I was headed anyway. So, so now you're not, I, So you're not using a smartphone or anything? I mean, I, I can, and I do okay. sometimes. Like for backup? But, yeah, okay. so it's for backup. I just, I know which way west is because of where the sun is. Oh, that's awesome. So you woke up on a mountainside, and just... Glad of nature this morning. Yeah. In, in the in the, in the uh, actual uh, city. Uh, and you walked here. Kind of, yeah. So I was overlooking the city. I walked down the mountain, and then I walked about probably 13 or 14 miles today to get here. Wow. It was beautiful, though. It was really great. That's man, I'm kind of windy. Impressed. <laughs> you still have about what about eight hundred miles? Probably. Thousand probably. Thousand maybe. That, that sounds good. good. Actually, dead yeah. on. Yeah, just about. Wow. And you and how's your energy level? You're like. Still up there? Or can't wait to oh yeah! Oh, man. now months. that I'm going down in elevation, I'm feeling great. Over the continental divide, right? Yeah, Loveland Pass is pretty tough. So now I'm feeling really kick ass. How long did it take? Did you hitchhike over there or walk? No, oh, I you're walked. not hitchhiking. No. I don't hitchhike yet. Did you stay? Did you sleep? 